novelist Russell Hoban has given Mr. Punch one of his more unusual roles. His book, Ridley Walker, is set in the distant future, long after a nuclear holocaust. In my book, uh, in this desolate uh, landscape in Kent, 3,000 years from now, after civilization has been destroyed, the government is a crude sort of a thing that enforces its will by traveling heavies, and it promulgates its policies with traveling puppeteers who have the government show that establishes the government's moral and political authority. And eventually Ridley, in opposition to this show, puts together his own punch show, which simply resists all that rubbish and goes its own way. The play of the book visualized this primitive future, where punch still runs true to form. But just why should this unruly little fellow be hailed as a good thing? You won't ever find punch bringing up the rear of a parade behind a flag or uh, going to a church or uh, enlisting in a crusade because God wills it. Punch knows better than all that. Punch will do something because he wills it and because he wants it right now. He would not put on a swastika armband any more than he would put on a cross. He is that vital force that will not obey any rules and will do many, many wicked things but is likely to do more things that are ultimately good than bad. Yeah.